Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel. And today we're going to look at an air show. A little behind the scenes look of all the stuff you need, what you can see at an air show, besides looking up in the sky and seeing all the fun going on. But at the very end of this, we also include the budget for a real air show that we had here in the Blue Ash area. And we also had convention at this location in the following month. So stay tuned while we look at it. So we would like to ask you, please subscribe. Hit the like button and hit the notify to stay current with our content. Now, as any event, there are rules, and the big rule right on the sign when you come in was no dogs allowed. But yet, as you walked around the event or rode around the event, we saw two dogs, we saw a single dog in one of the vendors. So keep in mind you're going to have rules and not everybody's going to follow them. They also had rules about alcohol and other stuff. Now, my job was garbage and grass. We would get the place, you know, mowed and trimmed and all before the event. And then during the event, we would ride around in the golf cart and just pick up bags of trash and take them to the dumpster, put out new trash bags. So that's all we did garbage and grass not a very exciting job but it was the one that nobody really wanted and so i took it every year and then you'll get to see some interesting pictures at an air show like one particular thing if i turned around whichever direction i looked there was a big yellow blob in the middle of the picture so just the fun things you get to see at an air show now, at the Blue Ash Air Show, there were a bunch of disabled veterans that were attending, and here I was just surrounded by them because we were just chatting about things and telling them where everything was and how to get there easiest. And then during the day, you saw lots of people being mobile going all around the airport, up and down the ramp and the taxiways as they saw all the vendors and everything else. And including sometimes if you just stand still like right here, here's a race and it's grandpa by a knee. Sorry, young man, but grandpa gotcha. And then you have a picture like this. You look and there's a Corsair and there's that little pug dog and you go, hmm, what's missing? Where is Robert Conrad? And then during the air show, when the band started to play, Notice how they really packed them in? One little boy who was completely bored and a bunch of empty chairs. So there you go. We also had a lost and found. Uh, took a picture of this guy just sitting in it. I uh, don't know if anybody ever claimed him or not, but that's open for discussion. And then my avionics guy at the time, Peter, and here he is with his son, and they were riding around at the air show doing stuff, all of us wearing very volunteer shirts. And then here was our um, convention chairman, Cheryl Pop, and there she is just being nice and giving a lathe to a, a young child. So it was a good time had by all, and there's a lot going on. Now, there's going to be show center with your announcer and everybody else, the air boss and the ground boss and the FAA who are there. So be prepared for all of that. Again, you'll see a lot of people staring up in the air, and you'll also, at the very end of this, we have the budget. Um, for a particular air show so you can kind of get an idea what you're going to pay and then you'll get a picture like this it just really says it all when the show's going on that everybody's looking skyward and then of course i had somebody take a picture of me so you can just look at this and go who is that guy and you don't see my ponytail which is all collected up in the back and behind me but there we are. The day is done and we are done for the Saturday until we come back in the morning and do it all again on Sunday. You know, garbage, not a fun job. And then lots of some pictures here of the crowd of just most of the day. People will just be looking skyward, watching the air show, listening to the announcement going on. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot that can go on with an air show. You have to consider your vendors, your exhibitors, uh, where are people going to park? How, you, how many admission gates you're going to have, what kind of tickets are you going to have, what are you going to do for volunteers, how are you going to mark the volunteers. I mean, I worked on this air show from when I first came to the Cincinnati area till about 2004, and that was about the time they were starting to make noise about closing Blue Ash, and uh, so the air show had to be shut down and go on and do something else but anyway also at the air show you'll also see a lot of people like at this particular show a lot of the volunteers were local grumman owners as a matter of fact two of the volunteers rich and madeline setterberg came back the next month for the ayA convention at blue ash and took best in show with their tiger 
in the John Maestri paint scheme and in their colors blue and teal. So ladies and gentlemen, there were a lot of people here. You might remember Carol from a couple of conventions. She helped out with a lot of them. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. It just takes a lot of planning and getting everybody to commit, contracts being signed, lawyers involved. You know the fun stuff. But the really nice thing here is at the very end, we're going to go ahead and throw you a typical budget up so you can kind of look at it and get a feel if you ever want to have an air show at your regional airport. So, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you found all this useful and informative. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. And have a great day considering an air show, but better yet, have a better day flying your Grumman. And here's a little bit of the fun I get to see in the wee hours of night when I'm working. The cat's just scooting through the area.